look who's calling me. Hello? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's ready today? Okay, sounds good. I'll come on by and pick it up. Thank you. See ya. Bye. Let's go. So, finally got the call from Hennessy Porsche. They said the Macan's ready. Finally, it's been about three to four months since we went to the dealership to build it. And we just got the call that it's ready. Whenever we went to the dealership, they had a lot of Macans on the floor that were nice, but had packages that we didn't need. And some of them, you know, we're just not the right rims, the right color, anything like that. So you know what, if you're buying a brand new car, might as well build it so you can add the things you want and subtract the things you don't need. So that's what we did. It actually ended up being cheaper than us just buying one right off the lot. So let's go to the dealership and pick it up right now. on it as well all right let's go get this Porsche got a Cayenne right here Cayenne S here it is this is our Macan been waiting four months for this bad boy with the two-tone seats are you listening 17 miles on the dash wow damn brand stinking new Love the smell. Let's see what they have in the show. Yeah. Ooh, uh, for GT. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. waiting to finish up the paperwork and then about to take this bad boy off the lot. We're in the tinting area. Looks like all these cars are getting tints put on. This beautiful car right here, GT3 RS. And the new Panamera. Finally left the dealership. I'm in the Macan right now. I've only driven the car three miles. So my review on a three mile Macan, love it. It's definitely worth getting. Finally at the house. Now I can show you guys the car a little bit better. Let's quickly go over the interior. So you push your foot on the brake, twist it to the right, and then twist it one more time. As you can see, it's fast cleaning. You have 32% tints on the back. Eventually I'll get the fronts done. The center crest is in colored. Got the Macan on the back. Eventually I want to debadge it. The dual exhaust system is very quiet. This is a daily driver, you don't need it too loud. And then of course, the two-tone with the red interior. It's probably my favorite option with red stitching everywhere. As you can see, this is one thing that I love right here since the car's keyless entry. You can leave your key in your pocket and just turn it on with that little key. Sport mode, heated seats. You got a lot of options. Screen's a little bit dirty right now. It's touch screen, so we'll get, it will have fingerprints on it. Got a tiny little 
center compartment right here. Same as the Cayenne, it was really tiny. Before I show you the back, when we first got this car I had no idea how you open the trunk. As you can see it's completely flush, looks very clean. You don't have that little handlebar right there. So it is right there. And it's huge. This part right here you can take off. I'm gonna leave it on for now. And then you have two partitions. You push this button and it'll close it halfway. Push this, it'll close it all the way. And I love these tail lights. Especially when the signal's on, that looks really good. So Macan's smaller than the Cayenne. I'm 6'1", I still have leg space. Not as big as the Cayenne, obviously, but we don't need a big car anymore. Got two cup holders, armrest, rear ventilation system. But it just looks so good. And smells good, too. So like I said, I'm 6'1". I still have headroom. Even with my spiky hair, it probably makes me 6'3". And I'm still sitting pretty comfortable. I'm sure I can go to sleep on a long road trip in the back seat. Let me show you one of my other favorite features. It is the panoramic roof. You have your CD player and two slots for SD cards. Glove compartment, pretty good size. We went with the dark wood trim. And right here is all the features. This is how you control it. The torque split, tire pressure, your trip, phone's not connected, the audio, the oil, the coolant, and those are all the features. You control it with this little wheel right here. It's very comfortable. Of course, you have your paddle shifters. Then on this side is the volume. This is how you call people. You push this button right here. Let's look underneath the hood now. It is a 2.0 liter engine, four cylinder. Produces about 250 horsepower and gets about 25 on the highway, roughly. Very clean, very clean, very beautiful. It's a small engine. I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool. Nice. This is our 2018 Porsche Macan, the new daily driver. I love the sound of Porsche's seatbelt ding. Of course it's annoying, but it sounds a lot better than most cars. One thing that's different with the old Macans is the steering wheel. It's very thick. I love it. I wish it was Alcantara, but I love the thickness of it. It feels really nice. One feature I hate, I wanted to show you guys, is this one right here, the auto stop. Not a big fan of it. What it does is whenever you come to a red light or a stop sign, it will turn off the engine. Then whenever you push on the pedal again, it'll turn it right back on. So this car is brand new. Don't really want to floor it yet. I'm gonna wait until it has about 3,000 miles to put it in sport mode and to really test out the 250 horsepowers. So you have the sensors right here. Also, the backup camera is really nice. Big fan of that as well.
This is so fast. It's just like a phone. I remember the old Porsches used to be really slow and lagging, but this one is so fast. And that's it. 